Recently, I was invited to the Google headquarters in London for the first YouTube health event. So I want to go through a few aspects of this. The first question I want to answer is why was I invited? The second question was what is YouTube health? The third question is how was the event? And the fourth question is how does this affect my problem? My name is Yasser. I'm a senior lecturer in pharmacy practice and an advanced specialist pharmacist working for the NHS in the UK. So a few months ago, I received a very interesting email from YouTube and I was invited to the first YouTube health event. So the first question is obviously why was I invited? So YouTube have a YouTube health section and a YouTube health team and essentially they oversee the use of healthcare content across the platform and what they wanted to do was invite any healthcare creators that are working within the UK to an event to collaborate and see how we can make better healthcare content together. So answering the second question, what is YouTube Health? So from my understanding, YouTube Health is something that works in the background and it's a way in which YouTube can oversee and look at content that's provided to you about healthcare material and ensure that it's accurate. So that's something that YouTube is doing by collaborating with teams like NHS English England. That's what a lot of the conference was about. And the third question is how was the event? So the event had a really packed agenda. So it started from 9.30 a.m all the way until 6 p.m. In terms of what we did on the day, there was breakfast that was included. So we had breakfast for the first half an hour. And then we had talks introducing us to the sessions and panel discussions with amazing speakers. A lot of the speakers were well-known YouTubers in the healthcare space. It was really good to network with a lot of the other YouTubers there. YouTube is one of my smallest platforms. So I was really happy to be invited. I also knew that there's a long way to go for me in terms of YouTube. I create a lot of content on YouTube. I've just found that it's one of the most difficult platforms to make sure people are engaged um, and I think that's because there's a lot more value that you have to provide on YouTube and that's always a good thing but it always means that it's a harder hill to climb. So within the day there were several sessions and then we had lunch with everyone at YouTube and they were really focusing on how can we make better healthcare content. And there's a real focus on healthcare content and microphone consists of two things. It consists of funny videos and it also consists of videos videos that are educational. And that's something that I really haven't made a lot of content on recently. That's something that this event really inspired me to make more content that's educational. So that brings me on to the last thing. How will this change the way in which I approach microfarm? And that's, I want to make more educational content. At the same time, I don't want that impact the content that I'm already creating. I want to increase the amount of content that I'm creating. I think it was a great day for us to understand everything that goes on with YouTube and the healthcare content. And there's a lot of things that are really undertaken to ensure that accurate information is provided to you. One of the ways in which they do this is when you actually search for a health condition, you will see a shelf of videos that are recommended by YouTube. That's very interesting because that's something that I didn't even notice. And what they want to do eventually is they want healthcare content creators to be able to apply to be on that shelf. I thought that would be something that I would be interested in because I have a lecturing background. So it was an amazing event and I'm really looking forward to other events like this in the future. And one of the main questions that I got from a lot of people when I was sharing pictures from the event was that there was lots of bags on the different seats. Lots of people asked me, what do they include in those bags? So first thing we got is our name badge with a lanyard. And then we got these rucksacks over here. So these are YouTube Health branded rucksacks. And I'm gonna show you essentially what was included in these rucksacks. So first we had a water bottle. So a YouTube Health branded water bottle. And then we had a YouTube Health branded notebook and that included a YouTube Health branded pen. A lot of these items were to be used on the day, but they're really cool items to remember the day at YouTube. So it was a great event and I'm really glad that I was invited. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Just finished up at the YouTube Health event. Um, I thought it was a really good day. Um, I thought I was gonna film throughout the whole session um but i struggle to